right beside the Colosseum, if you go through a passage under the Esquiline Hill, you'll find the remains of Nero's Golden House or Domus Aurea. Later emperors tried to erase the memory of Nero and his building projects. Vespasian filled in his private lake and built a Colosseum next door, and Trajan built a bath complex above the Domus Aurea. In fact, it's part of the foundations for the bath complex that you first walk in through when you come to see the Domus Aurea. But it's because Trajan had the place buried that it survives today. 30 of the 150 excavated rooms are open to the public. It's believed that this is only half of this portion of the palace because the rest is under modern buildings above and has never been dug out. The most famous room in the palace is this octagonal dining room, which was covered in marble during Nero's time. It's considered an architectural breakthrough that eventually led to the Pantheon. Nero was forced to kill himself not long after the house was built. But actually, Hadrian's villa at Tivoli was much larger, but he had the good sense to build it outside Rome, not rubbing it in the public's face. <laughs>